Before this video begins, I just want to say Merry Christmas to all you guys out there who celebrate it. This video is going live on the 24th of December, so most of us will be celebrating Christmas on that time. I was planning on doing some Christmas themed stuff in an episode, I never realized that this episode was actually going to be the one on Christmas Eve. Yeah, if I knew beforehand, I definitely would have built like a Christmas tree or something, you know, we gotta get festive up in here. Alright, well that's enough of me talking, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, I am OneTap, and today we are going to be surviving from days 50 to 75. I hope you guys enjoy the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be playing some Season 2 Minecraft Hardcore. Last episode we got some farms done, we got that big thing up there. And also our slime farm down there. So we did a lot of farms last episode. I think today is time to maybe upgrade some of our weapons and stuff. You see, I'm level 33 right now. So that's good enough to like actually um get a full enchantment. So we should probably do that. But before we do any of that, we still need to get an enchantment table and also some books. If you're new to this series and this is the first video that you're watching of me, I'm OneTap and this series is a little bit different than other like 100 day series that you'll watch. In this series, I kind of go on a let's play style because I honestly like the let's play style better than the just super fast paced going through all the days in like 10 minutes kind of style. It's still going to have that same core like element of 100 days like with a day counter and all that stuff. But it's just going to be a little bit more slower paced. There are still going to be some times where I do voiceovers and stuff. It's kind of just a mix between the two. So I hope you guys join me in this journey to see how long I can survive in Minecraft Hardcore. Alright, well our care farm is looking pretty good. We're almost done with this side. Um, we just have four more slots left. Okay, well we want to make an enchantment table, right? Oh, there's a spider there. Hold on, let me kill this guy. Alright, well anyway, I was saying that we should get an enchantment table. I forgot how to make them. I think you need obs I think you need obsidian and a diamond and a book maybe? Let's see here. Oh, I was actually correct. Obsidian, a diamond, and a book. Should be pretty easy. And we got four diamonds inside there, so that should be enough for it, and we just need to go down and get some obsidian. Let's check out our leather. We have four in there, 23 in there, and two in there. So that's not going to be enough to get bookshelves. So we're going to have to figure out a good way to get bookshelves. Maybe I'm just going to have to grind out for the leather. Hopefully I can find a better way to do this though, because this is going to this is gonna take a long time. So later in that day, I took a trek down into the mine and grabbed some obsidian. Okay, so I just realized that to make a book, you only need one piece of leather. For some reason, I thought it was three pieces of leather, so I think we might actually be able to do this a bit easier. That means it only takes three pieces of leather to make a whole bookshelf, I believe. Alright, well anyway, I got my obsidian, I got my book, and time to grab our two diamonds. We can finally make this enchantment table. There we go, and let's bring it inside of our secret room. Plop it right down in the middle, looking pretty nice. I think I'm going to need a bit more sugarcane for this. Alright, that's a lot of paper. Let's see how much books we can make out of that. Alright, we have 28 books and we can make 9 bookshelves out of that. That's that's alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of just lay them out like this, I guess. I don't know like the exact way to do it to give you like the most um, enchantment points per bookshelf, but I think this is pretty close. I'm gonna do it like that and then I'll just have two there and then one there. Alright, we need some lapis. Good thing we have 45. Okay, so we only have level 18 enchantments. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit, try to get 30. Shouldn't take too long, because we have a lot of cows out there. Yeah, look at those guys. They're all ready to be fed. Come here. There we go, all my wheat is gone, and there's just so many cows. We're definitely gonna have to be killing some of these guys. An expansion for our sugarcane farm was much needed, because you know, we needed a lot of paper for these bookshelves that we were about to craft. As you can see in this cow pen, there's not many cows left, because I killed most of them, but this should be enough for now. And it didn't take very long for us to get our maxed out enchantment set up. Okay, I think it might be time for our very first enchantment of the series. So I'm going to take our diamond pickaxe and we got a unbreaking three. Okay, that could have something good with like efficiency or whatever with it. There we go. We got our enchantment or advancement, not enchantment. My bad. What do we have here? Oh, it's only on breaking three. Okay, I guess it's, it's all right still, but I was hoping for like efficiency or something on that. Well, now that we only have two diamonds left from using two on that enchantment table, we have to go back down and grab some more if we want to get some tools and some armor. So I ran through my entire iron pickaxe and I didn't come across anything, but literally like a couple minutes after that, I started using my diamond one and I found some diamonds. So there's our first batch. 
You know, it took a while how to get a couple pickaxes, but I got my second vein of diamonds. This one was a pretty good one. It was a seven vein, I think. So now we had a total of 10 diamonds. We're looking pretty set, but I think I want to find one more vein. I was getting so bored of mining at this point. I really wanted to find that last vein and it finally came. This one was a five vein and yeah, 15 diamonds should be good enough for like a good amount of armor. Well, I got my 15 diamonds in my hand. I think it might be time to craft up some armor. So let's look at what we have here. So we have an iron chest plate, leggings, our helmet's almost gonna die. I think we might do these three pieces. Or actually, I don't even know if I can afford all that. Let's see how much. Okay, yeah, we can make one diamond chest plate and then we can do the leggings and, oh, that's, that's actually it. Okay, we're gonna need more diamonds then. There we go, the advancement, cover me with diamonds. Let's replace these. Hey, we're looking pretty fresh right now. Ooh, why don't we go ahead and enchant this stuff? Starting off with our chest plate. Let's see what we got here. Fire protection three. Oh, I don't really want that. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do our leggings first. Is it gonna be the same? Oh, it is. Well, I guess I'll just get, um, I'll, I'll do it on my leggings. I'll just get, uh, unbreaking one, please. Okay, I'll take it. Protection one, unbreaking one. Now, do, oh, okay, okay. Protection three. Let's, let's go with that. Protection three and thorns as well. I, I'll take it. Pretty good for just like starting off. We're gonna need some more diamonds though, but I'll do that later since I've been mining so long and I'm already kind of sick of it. All right, so I got my iron smelted in here and I got some steak actually, 40 steak, that's a lot. I was just gonna go outside and check out my farms, but little did I know I came across something pretty good. Ooh, okay, our carrot farms are pretty full. I haven't been here in a while, so this is this is great. Oh, chill, okay. Oh, oh, that, that's a zombie villager. I, I saw some creepers in the distance. I want to be careful, but that's a zombie villager. We got to try to keep this guy safe. Let's get rid of this other zombie right here first. Let's get rid of this other zombie right here first. And there's a creeper coming. Okay, we got to be careful and fast with this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Dig a two by two. Oh, our zombie friend just killed the skeleton over there. That was an epic battle, bro. I see you, okay? Dude, our zombie friend just saved the- No! He's okay. That guy's okay. All right, that was kind of my fault. I got way too close to it, and I thought I was going to kill him in one shot, but I, I guess I didn't. Okay, thankfully he didn't die because we, we need this dude. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, we got him stuck in there now. That was kind of a close call. I was scared he was going to die from my thorns because my thorns was just constantly damaging him. All right, I'm going to keep you safe. We need a golden apple and a weakness potion ASAP. I honestly don't know if I'm able to make it in time because I don't even have blaze rods or like anything yet because you know we haven't even been to like we haven't even explored the nether so this this might this might not work out. Okay well I'm gonna be honest I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to save this guy because we are just not prepared at all and if I move 128 blocks away from this dude then he will despawn so I think this might have been a failure. Well, I was gonna give it a try anyway, so I went down into the nether. Let's see if we can find ourselves a nether fortress. A lot of trekking later, there was a nether fortress. It was submerged into the ground though. This is the first time I've ever seen something like that. I was intrigued, so I decided to go and explore it. So I actually got pretty low a couple times. It wasn't that bad though, because when I got below like four hearts, I kind of just ran and hid. So I think I was good, but I got a wither skeleton skull. Like, what? Why did it, why does it give it to me now? Like, if, if you saw my last season, you guys would know it took me so, so long to find my first Wither Skeleton Skull. Back home, finally, after a long trip in the nether. I had to cross one of those new biomes. It was pretty cool, though. It was, like, weird. There were a lot of those, like, basalt thingies. I, I think it was called a basalt delta? I don't know. Oh, wait, I should probably check if the villager is gone. It, it probably is. And, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I tried to throw him a- oh my- chill. Whoa, there's a lot of mobs out here tonight. Holy crap. Okay, well, as I was saying, there's a carrot down there because I was trying to throw him a carrot to see if he could pick it up. Because if you guys didn't know, um, mobs can uh, sometimes hold items, and when they hold items, I don't think they despawn. So that would have been pretty great. We got a lot of treasures, though. We got some nether warts from a chest. We got a wither skeleton skull, eight blaze rods. So I guess I could start making a brewing stand and make some potions just in case this happens again. I think I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, my inventory is so messy. I need I need to clean this up. Day 61 was kind of boring, except I found an enderman holding a grass block. And you already know what I did to him. Hey, we got a grass block, though. No silk touch. This is pretty pog. By the end of that day, I expanded my sugarcane farm, so now it was even bigger than ever. I wonder how big this thing's gonna get. 
All right, well, anyway, I think today might be a good time to, you know, extend the storage system because our chests have been getting kind of full. Like, our wood one's all right. Our stone one's close. It's getting there. Over here, our junk chest is just filled. We need to do a little bit more sorting because, you know, last season, we, we had tons of sorting and stuff going on. So I think I'm just going to mine out this way. And I feel like just a little storage room on the right side of our house could look pretty cool. Oh, wait, actually, before we do this, I think I need a refresher on all of my tools. And there we go, we got ourselves some brand new fresh and clean iron tools. So this place was actually already dug out because there was a water pool here. So a lot of the digging has already been done for us, so that's, that's actually pretty convenient. I guess I don't really have to do that much digging, which is nice. I forgot that I left a lot of iron in here a long time ago, so now we got 41 iron ingots. That's that's actually handy. Well, anyway, what I was doing was I kind of just built it out here, followed the same, like, kind of pattern or theme with the rest of the house. Just super simple, basic, boring, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie. I, I don't really like this design, but I kind of have to stick with it because it's going to look weird if I just choose some random design out of nowhere. Well, anyway, right here, we got some glowstone lining up the ground, and I think I'm just going to be having chests like this, and they can just stack up. Up and yeah that I think that's about it for our storage area still got a lot of work to do to like clean up this room and add some better lighting like these torches just ain't gonna cut it bro this glowstone added some cool glow on these chests I think it turned out pretty good yeah I can't wait till we move out of here to be honest but like I feel like we can't just live inside our house for a couple of days and just move out we have to at least enjoy our time here you know spend a bit more time in here I think in our first season like the first house that we made we stayed in it for about 10 days or so and it was Kind of sad, so I think we're gonna make our first house in the season a bit more memorable. Guys, our wheat. Oh, Bruh. what, bro? Chill, chill. I was gonna start the. I was gonna start the clip by like talking about our wheat, and I see a zombie riding on top of a baby chick. A baby, a baby zombie on top of a baby chicken, or oh no, that's a normal chicken. Dude, what? How rare is that mob? I don't want to kill it. I guess I kind of have to though, but that's, that's actually sick though. I didn't know those guys could spawn. I thought they could only spawn like with gold or diamond armor, but I think that's probably more rare than this. Hey, he dropped some of his armor. Yeah, useless. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to bed and then I'll talk to you guys. All right, as I was saying, um, our wheat, uh, we have the smallest, most like tiny wheat farm ever. Like we, we don't have a good source of wheat right now. And steak is like my main form of food, so I think we should probably get some more wheat because I need to be like, you know, feeding these guys. Ooh, also our sugarcane farm, it's full again. Dude, our sugarcane grows a lot faster than our wheat. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a lot of sugarcane. I, there's no way I'm using this all. That, that's probably enough. Well, next up on my list, as guys mentioned in the last episode, I think it might be time to do some capitalism. We really need to get some villagers up in here. I'm going to grab some of our fences. Why don't we build a little house or a pen slash house kind of thing for the villagers? Um, I'm going to do it right over here. This is a nice open place for it. I'll start it out as like a pen and then it might be a bit expensive on wood. And as you guys saw in that wood chest a couple seconds ago, I'm kind of running out of wood. Yeah, I kind of like this idea. I think I'm gonna go with it. Their house is probably gonna be ugly because uh, it, this is just a little villager compound for now that I can just store them in. Because I don't really think it's necessary to take the time right now and make a whole like villager hall trading setup and all that kind of stuff. I just want a little house to keep them safe. I think you already know what day 64 was. A lot of tree gathering. You know, I'm kind of feeling like a lumberjack now, bro. Their lives are kind of boring. By night, you could kind of see what this villager thing was turning into. It looks more like a prison than a little house for them. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. But you know, the hardest thing is going to be finding a villager. Zombie villagers aren't that rare, I think, in hardcore mode. But I, I'll just have to keep an eye out for them because I haven't really been looking for them. At first, I could not find any of these zombie villagers, but I came across one toward the end of the night. As you guys can tell, it's kind of difficult to get them back into the cage without any other mobs trying to, you know, devour you. And there we go, he is currently trapped inside that hole, now we gotta act fast and get our weakness potion and our golden apple. Alright, well let's get started and turn these gold nuggets into gold ingots. Then we need to find an apple, there we go, we actually have one in there. Alright, make a golden apple, there we go, we got our precious golden apple, wait, I just realized that this had a blue font, do you guys see that, how it says golden apple in blue font? Um, I don't really know why, probably because it's a rare item. Alright, well anyway, back on track, we need a uh, fermented spider eye. That requires sugar, I believe. And finally, a brown mushroom. I already made my water bottles, so we just gotta place this stuff in here. Fermented spider eye, and we should have our weakness potion. Ooh, I need a gunpowder to make it splash, actually. Where is the spider? I I've been hearing the spider this whole time, I have no idea where he is. Oh yeah, and I should probably move stuff in the storage room, but I've been lazy right now. I'm gonna do it eventually. Alright, so we got our potions of weakness, put a gunpowder in, and that should make it splash. I need to find this dude. Oh, he's chilling at the top. Okay, just, just get out of here, please. Thank you. 
Come on, come on, it's almost done. Hey, there we go. Local brewery advancement made. Now, our boy over here should still be here because I'm pretty sure he picked up a dirt block as well. Yep, I hear him in there. And now we should have our witch doctor advancement done pretty soon. So while I was waiting for this dude to cure, I just um, started moving all of our items into our new storage room. It took a couple of minutes, but our zombie doctor achievement finally appeared. I was super excited, so I went to go check up on our villager, and there he was, just chilling down in the hole in all of his glory. Day 67 was a pretty boring day, just had to get a lot of work done, you know, moving all of our stuff into our brand new storage room, and also farming wood, because now that we had our villager, I turned him into a fletcher so we could sell him all of our sticks. Okay, so I finally finished up the storage room and I'm super excited to show you guys what it looks like. So all of these three chests here are completely empty, so we're all good with that. Over here, I decided to keep our current wood and uh, stone chests, but over here we got a sign that says storage, and inside I labeled everything with signs. I think it actually looks cool, and it's probably a better idea than doing item frames, because last season I did item frames, and um, some of you guys uh, pointed out that item frames are entities and they may cause lag, so I'm going to be going with signs this season. I think it looks just as good, honestly, maybe even better. Alright, well right here we got our ores slash gems. Here are our valuables, which are pretty much just other goodies that just aren't ores. Right here is our dirt, sand, and gravel. This is just other random blocks. Here is mob drops, miscellaneous, food, tools, weapons, and armor. That's about it for the storage room. I still have to finish this up. I just, I've been lazy with this. I chopped some trees like a lumberjack all the way into day 68. After a nice and calming wood collecting session, I turned every single piece of a log that I had in my inventory into sticks. Hopefully this is enough to get us at least a bit started with some emeralds. And now it was time to trade them all to the villager. I actually had way more than enough. I thought it was going to be enough for just one session of trading, but turns out this was probably good for two. Thank you. Thank you. On day 70, I finished up some unfinished business and also laid down a nice path to the villager cage. On day 71, I was thinking about making a diamond sword and enchanting it, but I had the mob farm going, so I was like, screw it, I'm just going to use my iron sword. And we ended up getting Sharpness 3, Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3, that's, that's a pretty good enchantment. I was pretty happy with that. Next, I grinded out our mob farm, gathered some more levels, and then I returned over to our villager to trade more with him before the day was over. Well, the day was already over, but I think you know what I mean. I was about to start off, like, the, the day or whatever, and I just see some skeleton inside the sugar cane again, bro. Like, this is the second time. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, anyway, I was gonna show you guys this thing that I spotted over here. I I can't believe I haven't found this yet, but I, I was up there, and I looked down, and I noticed some cobblestone. So I was like, hmm, what is this? And I realized that it could only mean one thing. It's a dungeon, but what is the spawner? Oh, there it is. Is that spider? Oh, that's a spider spawner. I can't believe there's just like a dungeon pretty much on the surface. Okay, I don't know why I'm even clearing it out. We got the chests right here. So gunpowder, bones, saddles. Ooh, 13 music disc. That can help us when we try to collect all the music discs. Oh, cat. I like cat. And a golden apple. That's that's actually good because we can cure another zombie villager with that. And speaking of curing zombie villagers, tonight I want to go searching for another one because we need another villager. I'm probably going to turn him into a weaponsmith, either a weaponsmith or an armor. An armor is probably more important because I'm trying to beat the inner dragon by day 100. That is kind of my goal of this series right now. Yeah, an expansion of the villager cage is going to be necessary very soon, and I kind of regret making it this ugly because I'm looking at it and it's kind of- yeah, I, I don't really like it, dude. I kind of hope that I just went with a nice house, but that also would have taken a lot of time, so I don't know. Also, we got an open space right here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see right here. Oh, maybe we could extend the farm over. Well, there's kind of some holes in the middle because that's where our slime farm is. But yeah, like wheat, potatoes, um, all that kind of stuff. We need a farm for that. That night was zombie villager hunting time, and these are actually not that rare in hardcore mode, I've realized. I've seen one, like, whenever I try to look for them, they're, they're not that hard to find. Except this one was kind of far from my house, it was gonna be a long trek to get back there. So the next day, I went over to cure our villager, fought off a creeper, but finally got the apple to him, and it was ready to go. I got a bunch more sticks and did some more trading with our villager boy over here. Okay, so I want to turn our villager into a armor now, and to do that we need to make a blast furnace, I believe. So I had to smelt some super smooth stone to make these, because I believe this is the recipe. Yes, sir. Alright, we got our two blast furnaces. The reason I made two is because I actually want to replace one of ours right here with a blast furnace. Hey, there we go. He's all cured, but I'm just gonna- I'm gonna move him later. I'm too lazy to do it right now, but 
There we go. There's our blast furnace inside of there. He should turn into an armor when I get him up. Finally got our villager inside of the villager cage, and now he is in armor. Let's check out his trades. Oh, he's got some nice trades. Everything is only one emerald. That's actually insane. I gotta grab a couple of these. Day 74 was just filled with capitalism, man. Those trades were so insanely cheap. When we got to the diamond armor sets, they were also one emerald each. I was super confused why, because, you know, usually it takes two cures or so to get it to one emerald. I think it had something to do with, like, villager gossiping or I, I don't know. Something I read on Reddit, but... Yeah, it, I was pretty happy that it was only one emerald. And that night, my inventory was just completely filled up with just junk of armor and all that kind of stuff. I'm probably going to throw it away one day. On day 75, I went over to my carrot farm because we haven't tended this thing this whole episode yet. So everything was fully grown. It looked amazing. But that's when I spotted an enderman holding another grass block in the corner of my eye. You know, I had to get this dude. Those grass blocks are pretty fire. Well guys, there's only one more thing I want to do before we end off this episode. I'm just going to harvest all of this stuff. Dude, if I keep on expanding the sugar cane farm every episode, this thing is going to get ginormous. It's going to be crazy. Hey yo, the cow is spinning in circles. What's popping? There we go. We got a crap ton of sugar cane from that. That's pretty sick. Oh wait, I just realized I forgot some water buckets here. Hold on, let me fix this. But yeah, I think we are so ready for the next episode, guys, because the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Ender Dragon. So having good gear is very really important, and I, I need a helmet still, but I haven't really I haven't really had time to trade this guy today. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of Ender Pearls, though, because we're going to need to make those Eyes of Ender. So maybe we're going to have to start breeding these villagers, because honestly, breeding them might be one of the easiest ways, because we don't have to waste a Golden Apple and a Weakness Potion. But yeah, I chose the armor because armor, I think, is probably the most important hardcore. You know, we got to make sure we're safe, that we don't take damage. Well, we don't take that much damage. So then hopefully we have a lesser chance of dying. And yeah, this Blast Protection 2 should keep us safe from creepers, hopefully. But yeah, guys, this has been a really fun episode. Oh, I did not mean to open that chest. But yeah, guys, this has been a really fun episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed it so far. And I'm so excited for the next episode where we finally take on the Ender Dragon. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.